rain skyscrapers in the sky Run to the house before we die Hey Indies, what's going on? It's Jake here. Welcome back to IndieCraft. This is episode 41 in season 2, and today we're going to be doing a library, a request from the Vlogcraft. Uh, but before we get to that, um, as you can see, I've collected something special right here for this episode. But before we do that, there's one thing we need to do. I actually forgot I was going to grab out signs before I started recording, but I didn't grab out signs because I'm not that smart. So let me go grab some two signs. And last ep week's episode, oh, my skeleton ran away again. Freaking skeleton, what's wrong with you? Because I changed my game mode. That's what's why. Dang it. I trapped in the skeleton in there and kind of changed that cage up a little bit. Off camera between episodes. It was kind of disappointing that he's not there now. Oh, oh well. Okay. So, last episode I asked you guys. Um, to if you... Okay, my words did not really go together right there. I'm going to start again. Last episode I asked you guys. Um, I told you guys you could claim these. So, I'm going to do my best to remember which ones are which. Um, this is, um, the vlog craft. And Vlogcraft, along with the other person, uh, I need to know what you want to sell. So I'll put another sign here with what that person's selling. And then what value it should be. And of course, the currency is Nyx, is what we used over there. And then the other one that was claimed was the ugly one. I think this is what I said was the ugly one. What do you think? That was definitely Halloween. That was definitely Sky, or whatever. This was patriotic. I think this is the ugly one. Even that one's kind of ugly. Oh, well. Let's say this one's the ugly one. If I get it wrong, sorry. This was Crazy for Thin Mints. All right, I think I did that right. Hopefully, I got your name right and yours. I hope I did. If I didn't, we can always fix it. All right, so now on to the fun, fun part of this episode. So, the vlog craft said something. I didn't really note it. I don't know why I'm feeling like using this crafting table. I just am, so deal with it. Um, she said something like, build it underground or something. I don't exactly remember what, what you said now. So, but, so I kind of had a unique idea, I thought, for this library. Okay, so let's just grab out all that. And I, I don't know, did I have this axe enchanted last episode? I enchanted my axe. But, yeah, I, I might have had it. So I probably won't get a lot of bookshelves made this episode. I might just, like, stop and do whatever. I don't know. But, so I have my TNT. I actually need a flint and steel out real fast. So, I think you can still light it this way. I miss when you could just punch it. Those were the days. So what we're going to do is just, this is where I'm thinking will be the best spot for it. And I, I don't think there's anything around here to damage. I know I'll eventually hit a farm. But we'll just kind of knock out this. This will be the mouth of our... We're just going to build it, like, all in this cave here. I kind of thought this would be a cool idea. So, but of course we have to do this with TNT. So let's get out of here. Ah! Boom. Okay. No damage done to the rest of the world. We're still good. Okay, still good. Okay. Placing a piece of TNT here. Yeah, get out of here. So I'm going to have to obviously correct this a little bit because it's going to be a little messed up. Okay, let's get some TNT. I just want to make it kind of, want to make it feel a little bit random. I want it to feel, I would like it if there was actually a natural cave here, but there's not, so I don't really have much of a choice here what to do, so. There's some coal there, which is nice. Coal is always nice. Okay, so let's just do another piece here. Oh, I'm going to trap down here. Get away. Run away. Boom, baby. Okay. This is good. This is good. It's kind of what I was thinking of anyway. So, let's keep going down a little bit more. Back it up. All right, and let's do one more down here. We might we'll, we'll change it a little bit, of course. But this will be base the basic layout of this cave. So let's get out of here and not die. So there we go. Okay, so we're basically done with the cave. Boom. Oh look, another cave right under it, which we could totally use if we wanted to. There's iron there. And iron's good. Iron's always good. Oh, look at this cave. I wonder if it comes out anywhere around my house. Oh, looks like it does. There's torches here. I've explored it before. Skeleton! Die! Oh, I love this sword. What's this? Oh! Oh, oh there has to be a secret tunnel now from the library to the big wood thing. Under the big wood thing, at least. There has to be a secret tunnel there. I just... Oh, my gosh. That was not planned. That just made my day. Oh my gosh. There must be a secret tunnel now. Just ran out of torches. I'm kind of just exploring the cave now. It's weird that they're like so bright whenever they're hit. And then everything around is dark. Okay. Let's 
weird. There was like two spots, just one iron. That was kind of strange. Ah, I'm glitching out, glitching out. Okay. Okay, it doesn't want me to go that way. I understand, game. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, don't, nope. We can be friends. Okay. Okay, we're friends here. Okay, let's just eat a little bit of this. Okay, I'm getting really distracted in this cave here. From the actual build this episode. That's alright. This is part of the fun. We need to go back to the house and make torches real fast. I'm getting really, really crazy off topic. I did something I was going to talk about this episode, but I kind of lost it. I didn't really write anything down because this episode's already coming out late. It's already Wednesday night. When I'm recording this, which means I'm going to edit it, render it, upload it, blah, blah, blah. So it probably won't be out till you know, Thursday, but that's all right. Oh my gosh, that secret tunnel is the coolest thing ever. Ever seen. I'm really happy with how the city's coming along. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to need to build some up there next. Uh, just wanted, as a reminder, guys, for those of you who may be new to the show, all you need to do is down in the comment section below, if you have an idea for anything you want me to build around here, just leave it down below and I'll build it in this city. And la 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 la. Okay, what was I in here? What was I getting in here for? Um. Ah uh, la la. That was my phone going off, in case you were interested. Tends to do that when I start recording. No one texts me or talks to me all day. And then, what was I in here for? Torches. Is it, but... See, see, I'm really low on coal. No one talk, wants to talk to me all day long. And as soon as I'm... I mean, it's not like they really want to talk to me when they text me now anyway. It's just like... Okay, do this for me. I'm like, okay, fine. Alright, so let's get some torches done. Alright. Okay, I'm excited. This is going to be really cool. I've already wasted like five minutes of episode, but I don't care. We got to blow stuff up. I've been waiting, like, we haven't done any blowing, blowing of, edge of stuff up edge for this whole season. It's amazing. Ah. Alright. So, I've been playing this game, uh, set people up. This kind of, like, explains why I've been inconsistent with videos, why IndieCraft in it isn't coming out on the right time right now. Because, hey, these people up all week, we've been playing this game, and this I didn't really think about it, but I guess I might as well tell you about it, but. And I kind of just called it Telegraph. Even though that's not really what a telegraph is, but but technically, never mind. I'm not gonna go. Um, I know some of you, most of you, probably heard of that kind of kids game, telephone. Um, it's basically telephone where you kind of okay. Basically, I gotta explain this game. I guess if I'm gonna explain it, if I'm gonna explain one thing, I might as well explain it all. Okay. Okay. I want this entrance to be actually pretty big, so let's just knock out all this. Okay. Okay. That could be fine. Okay. Let's just go back into the house and grab some stone. That's what I need. Hopefully I have enough regular smooth stone bed up. I problem is I tend to turn it into stone brick really quickly because I use stone brick a lot more than I use regular stone. Stone brick would be fine if we needed to use it. But look, I do have plenty of stone. So booyah, baby. Booyah. Oh yeah. But anyways, so this game Telegraph. Uh I, I deemed it Telegraph. They didn't really have a name for it when they when they kind of explained it to me. But I figure since it's similar enough to telephone, you basically for telephone, what you do is you whisper something in the person's ear, and then you all you, you're all sitting around in a circle, and you whisper something in a person's ear, and then it, um, they have to tell it to the person beside them. They tell it to the person beside them. And finally, it gets back around to you, and then you usually hear what they said. Which is what you said originally. After it's been whispered around the circle, which people don't hear it well in the, when you're whispering, and because you can't let the per anyone else hear it, otherwise you lo you lose or something. I don't really know what happens. Like usually people just don't hear it, so we should never have that happen. But so the people aren't supposed to. Hear it, so then it gets around all the way around the circle. It's something totally different than you said usually, and it's usually something really funny and totally random, like barking monkeys eating flying bananas. You know, something like that. Except that's not as ridiculous as it gets. So it, it's it's kind of fun. It's not. Oh my gosh! It freaking ran into that fire again. That was the worst spot ever to put a fire. <gasps> ah. Anyways, so it's kind of a fun game for. It's kind of more of a party game. I, it's kind of fun, I guess. But oh, I just ran through it again. That was stupid of me. So, so basically, in this game, it's that same thing except you write a picture on a piece of paper, and then the person you pass it. Like you all do this. You have a stack of papers, and you have this, the stack is the amount of players you have. So. If you have five players, then you have five pieces of paper. Then you have that stack of papers. You write down um, what you think that it is that you're... Okay, how do we do this entrance? How will I do this? Hopefully I have enough stone. I should probably go back and add some stone to the furnace. be a good idea. But I'm not going to do it because I'm lazy. But So basically you have your sta stack of five, and you draw a picture on it. Then, as soon as you draw your picture... I want it to be three. I want the entrance to be three for some reason. I don't know why. I don't really like odd numbers usually, but for now, for some reason, I'm feeling it on. I'm feeling it on. Coming on, you know. Anyway, so you have a stack of papers, and 
You have um. So you draw on the top paper. You draw what you think it is. I know what you think. It is. You draw something, whatever you want. For instance, one tonight, I drew uh someone playing a grand piano, which totally got ruined. But anyway, so what well, I use that kind of example for this. So okay, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Let's have like a spike hanging down here. It won't look like a spike. Cause it's on a small scale, but you know, just kind of make it look a little more random in here. So let's go. Okay, I should put some torches around here for mobs. Start spawning in here like crazy. Okay. Must remember this cave is... Oh, or just fall into it. That, that worked. That's a way to remember it as well. Okay, must remember this cave is here. I'll just do some, like, piston drop thing. I might, I might not do it now. I might do it later or another episode or something. Or just off camera entirely, you know. You know how that goes. But, okay. Or I'll just fall into it. You know, be stupid. You know. You know. I can talk in an annoying voice. You know. You know. Anyways. So, yeah. So, it, it kind of goes around the circle. And... So you pass that stack to your right. That person can't gets to look at your picture, and they have to draw. They have to tell you what you th they think it is. They have to tell what they think it is. Well, they they write down on the next sheet of paper in the stack. Then they slide your pieces of paper to the back of the stack, and uh, they slide your piece of paper to the back of the stack, and then they pass to the next person. The next person reads what the previous person wrote. They can't look at my picture that I originally drew. Sorry, this is gonna be really confusing, but. They, oh my gosh, gotta keep placing dirt in places. They don't look at the picture that I originally drew. They're not allowed to, so... So they only look at the, what the person before them wrote, and they have to draw whatever that person wrote. So, I think for one of them, um... I can't really think of a good example right now, but yeah, that, I think you guys understand. So if I, I drew the piano, and the next person just wrote, wrote someone playing a keyboard, which... <laughs> piano is not a keyboard, but I, I let that one slide without complaining too much. I was like, really? No one, it was a grand piano. I mean, I even wrote specifically, not an upright on the card when I did the drawing. And no, no, no. <sighs> people, people, people. Anyways, yeah, oops, can't break that wall. Okay. So there's going to be bookshelves in here eventually, but I don't even know if I'll get to that during this episode. There's my phone going off again. That's amazing. Look, I feel so popular. It's probably like my mom, like, hey, have you got this done? I'm like, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Shifty eyes. So the problem with this thing is obviously gonna be keeping the mobs out but hopefully the indie craft area is lit up well enough so let's just see let's make a let's have a go at seeing how many bookshelves we can make we won't have enough i know for sure to make this how i want it but i know it looks bad it looks like a random ugly cave but i think when i get the bookshelves in here it's gonna look kind of cool it'll have kind of a interesting look to it so books are ridiculously expensive now though so i have lots of paper and I need leather, so... I actually have one book there, so I have two leather. Um, what do you need to breed cows now? I think cows are still wheat. So, I haven't harvested my wheat farm in ages, I don't think. Well, yeah, I did, because I made those cookies not long ago. So, I should have some wheat to breed cows with. Just gotta remember what chest I storm in. No, we're not to go through them all. 16 wheat, that'll be enough to breed all the cows. I actually don't have a lot of cows, that's kind of a problem. I don't want to kill a lot, so... That's why I don't think I'm going to get all the bookshelves in this episode, but... Yeah, I mean, I could always just spawn them in, I guess, but... I feel guilty spawning in this show, because I try not to... try my absolute best not to cheat. Yeah, I only have four cows. I don't really want to kill any of them. And now I have six, and if I kill them, then I'll even have less. I have even less, so... I don't really want to kill any cows. So... Uh, why do most books be so dang expensive nowadays? That's annoying. That is annoying. Uh, books were bad before. Like, I thought... I complained before, because I was like, okay, they... I, I mean, I guess even probably in some of my older videos, before they changed that, you could probably see me kind of complaining, like, oh, I wish books weren't this expensive. Or, okay, get ridiculous amounts of sugar cane. And then they're like, yeah, yeah, I've complained about this way too many times in my videos. I really shouldn't do it again. It's annoying. Okay, I need... I don't know why I bothered grabbing out all that. It's not like I'm going to be able to make that many books anyway. Look, guys, I have two leather, and I'm going to be able to make two more books. Okay. And you know what we can do with two books? Freaking nothing. Um, We can make one bookshelf. Booyah! One bookshelf. That was super expensive. So we did all that for one bookshelf. I might have some bookshelves made in here. I don't think I did. Nope. We did all that for one bookshelf, guys. 
One bookshelf. One blasted bookshelf. I don't, I don't think I'll feel guilty anymore if I spawn a bookshelf. I honestly don't. I think I might just spawn him. And I'll put bookshelves in here on the wall. I want them to be all over. I think it'd look really cool. You know what? I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be a cheater. We're gonna cheat this episode, guys. For the sake of this episode, and for the sake of this you know, me not wasting hours sitting at my computer computer like so many bookshelves. I'm just gonna spawn. We're just gonna go creative mode. And I'm gonna be happier about this. If you got a problem with this, then that's your own problem. Because I want this to look cool. I want this build to be really cool, and for this once, I'm just gonna cheat. So sorry if that bothers you. It kind of bothers me a little bit, honestly. I don't, I don't like to cheat. But you know what? For this once, I just don't wanna, don't wanna waste hours and hours sitting at my computer, getting stupid, stupid bookshelves. So I just wanna like kind of put bookshelf. I want them to kind of look like they're almost random and disorganized. Yet, they're on these super organized shelves, which is totally awesome, except all the shelves look the exact same. So, let's kind of have, just kind of like make them almost like piles of books that they're in shelves. If this makes any sense, how my organization, I want it to be chaotic. I don't know if that makes sense. So, somewhere down here is going to be a secret passage. You know what? I feel guilty for cheating. I do. I said I wasn't going to feel guilty, but I do. I feel horribly guilty for doing this. I feel like I'm like just like throwing away everything I've said about not cheating and oh well I'd probably be cheating by now anyway on even if I had like just ended the episode and not cheated so yeah we're, we're just totally cheating right now guys so it's fine it's fine because guess what we're gonna have a really cool library a really really cool library you know what we spawned in some crap to do it and I'm happy about it so this wall's a little plain here. Okay. Let's put something in here. Alright, so if you kind of come down here, yeah, that's the look I was wanting. Let's put some um, up here on the ceiling more, too. Oops. So they're, they're kind of everywhere. Kind of like almost in your face, annoying, disorganized. So you're like, oh, I hate this place. You just like, it's one of those places like you almost dread coming to because it's so badly done. I'm kind of thinking, okay. Okay, here's where, here we go. Here's where we goes. Alright. Sweet. Sweet, okay. Perfect. Oh, flying, okay. Now we go back to survival mode, and now I have one more bookshelf left. I'll place that there. So there we go, guys. There is our awesome library. Thank you, Vlogcraft, for that awesome suggestion. And I'm happy I cheated, because... If I had not cheated, guys, literally, I would have been sitting at my computer for hours trying to get enough leather for this stupid, stupid, not stupid build, um, just expensive build. Not, it's not stupid, I like it a lot. So, yeah. So, I gotta build a secret passage here at some point, but I'm not gonna do that now. So, yeah, thank y'all guys for watching, thank y'all guys, thank y'all for guys, thank you guys for, for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to leave your request down below for what you want me to build. I'm um, probably gonna do some sort of statue here in the new future, near future, and something back there on that hill. Something, I don't know. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Building scarce, scrapers in the sky.